Hey, it's Brock here with Rock Hill Farms, and I've got a log here that I need to turn. And it's a big log, it's a heavy log. I might be able to turn it with a cant hook, but you're really pushing it on the amount of weight I can lift and the amount of strain I want to put on my back. A lot of times I'll take these off the mill with a tractor or a skid loader and turn them over and then set them back up there. But that's kind of slow and cumbersome and works better if you have two people. So I've been looking for an option for how I can roll my logs manually when they're, they're too big to roll with the cant hook. And Woodland Mills actually has a couple options for that, but I'm trying something different. I've got a product that's supposed to be on, on a freight delivery in the next hour. So we're going to leave this setting here, wait for that delivery, and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so I mentioned in yesterday's video that I had ordered four different tools that help with lifting. And I had two of them in yesterday's video. This is number three. I was hoping it was fully assembled, but I was not expecting it to be. Uh, there was just an off chance. Maybe they send it on a pallet put together because it did come freight. This is another VBOR tool. So same story as always. I'll have a link in the description. If you want to order one of these, you can get a 5% off using my discount code. Typically, I do not do unboxing or assembly videos unless it's something that has a long and complicated assembly. This looks like it'll probably be pretty quick to do, and I'll jump back in if I have any points of interest or any troubles putting this together. What I've been talking about is an engine hoist, and I was just thinking, what is freestanding that I can use with the mill or I can take out of the way that has that kind of lift capacity? that can reach out over. And the easiest thing I could think of was an engine hoist. Now that doesn't mean it'll work, this could be a failure, but it was an idea I had. Now, the hoist was pretty easy to put together, it took me about 30 to 40 minutes, just because there's quite a few bolts. But it wasn't complicated. Now, it came with this kind of uh, split setup here. I believe that's used to actually hook to an engine. I'm not doing that. So I'm going to take this off. You just remove one bolt right here and then you put your chain through and I'm just going to use this hook right here or I may probably over time I'll get a bigger, I've got a bunch of chain and, and some heavier duty hooks. So I'm not sure what this is rated for, but I'll look that up. So I'm going to put this hook on, then we'll move this down to the sawmill and give it a try. Okay, so I really wasn't sure if this would work and it would have been a real bummer if I did all the recording and got it set up and it didn't work. But the first hurdle's out of the way in that the legs will slide up far enough that the hoist will reach over it and it looks like the hoist has enough lift height. So that's the good thing. I, I need a lifting strap to, to actually fasten this to it and then we'll give it a shot. So I've used this method before when working with the tractor or the skid loader as my lifting tool. You want to cinch. I put the strap all the way around and then pass it through itself where it's cinched at the bottom. So as it lifts, it's going to lift from the bottom. And I want my lift point right about here. Not out too far. That could drop the log off the front. Not too far back. That could pull it onto you. But right about here, cinched at the bottom. So let's give it a try. I tell you what, I've rolled logs a lot of different ways, and I actually kind of thought this one might be sketchy, but I've never felt more in control and relaxed rolling a log as I did doing this, because it came up 
just so slow and just rolled perfectly into place tight against the backstops. I mean, I'm blown away by how effective that really was compared to what I was expecting. I literally came out here and said to myself, this was a dumb idea, this isn't gonna work. Why am I even messing with this? I've got a tractor. I was wrong. That was fantastic. The engine hoist is easy enough to roll without any weight on it that I can easily slide it under, slide it back out of the way. And it was so easy to roll that log. And of course, we'll continue with more testing over time and see if there's any problem that comes up later with this. But the early result is it's fantastic. Now, for anyone who's new here, just be aware, I don't keep my mill outside. It's been outside for the last three weeks since I brought it down here to put the Woodland Woodlander trailer on it. But as soon as I finish up a few more things down here and a couple things up in the Quonset hut, this is going back inside the building. And I've actually been waiting to move it for one more delivery to come that's going to make it easier to move this mill. But... I'm thrilled with that engine hoist setup. It's a little bit expensive, but man, if you are having trouble with the finding a way to roll your logs, this'll do it. So I appreciate you taking time to watch the video. I'll put links on the screen to a couple more of our videos, and I'll see you next time.